Hey you guys, it's Janine here from the Wealth Building Academy, and today I wanted to talk to you about how CERB or CERB is taxed. Now many people have been approved and are receiving CERB during the pandemic because they are out of work, and the CERB has actually recently been extended to 24 weeks, which means there is a maximum amount you can collect from the government of $12,000. But the question that everyone's asking is how is this actually going to affect my taxes when I go to file them in April of next year? The income you receive from CERB is considered taxable income and it is important to note that the government has not been deducting any tax off of these payments. So you're getting the gross amount. So think of the amount that you see on your paycheck before all of those deductions are taken off. That's the amount that's being deposited into your bank account. At the end of the year, the Government of Canada will issue you a T4A for the amount you received in CERB in 2020. Since there are no withholdings, it's important to understand how much you've actually earned in all of 2020. So you may want to go back and calculate on a gross basis how much you've earned before you started receiving CERB and at any point during the year, if you do earn money and stop receiving CERB, you'll want to also include that in your calculation. The best way to go about figuring out your marginal tax rate, which is how much tax will actually be taken off of the amount you receive of CERB is to use an income tax calculator. And I will link the EY income tax calculator in the description box below as that's the one I always use. So once you've figured out how much money you've actually earned in the year on a gross basis, you'll wanna plug that number in and choose your province in the EY calculator. Once you've done that, it will spit out your marginal tax rate and how much tax that you owe on a high level, obviously not including any deductions or credits that you may get to take into account. So you'll want to use that percentage and apply it to the amount that you have earned from CERB. So if you've earned $10,000 in CERB and your marginal tax rate is 25%, you'll want to set aside $2,500 to pay next year when tax time comes around. One of the best ways to go about saving this is doing so through an automated savings transfer. So setting up a bank account with someone like Tangerine or EQ Bank with a high interest savings account and starting to transfer that amount over the remaining months. So you basically have all of the rest of 2020 as well as the first four months of 2021 to save the amount that you'll actually owe in CERB. So take that amount, in this case let's say that 2500, divide it over the number of months that are left in the year, so in this case about nine months, and that ends up being around $275 per month that you'll need to put away to save for your tax bill. And this makes it a little bit more manageable. And also if it's in a separate bank account, you're not going to touch it and spend it. If you've earned under $12,000 for 2020, you actually don't need to save any amounts for tax payments as there will be nothing that is taxable on that $12,000. But this means you've only earned the $12,000 from CERB, you've had no other income for 2020, and it's important to also make sure that you're checking this on a province by province basis as different provinces do have different thresholds. This $12,000 is just the federal threshold for all of Canada. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about how the CERB payments are taxed, please leave them in the comment section below and I will see you next week.